Hi, I'm Steve. I'm an outdoorsman. I'm just a regular guy from a regular town with a regular job. Last year, I tried to take my own life off this bridge. Luckily, I didn't do it. I got clean, quit smoking, gambling, drugs and alcohol. That's when I started my spiritual journey, an awakening, an epiphany. Over the last couple of months, I've been going on a few adventures and filming it on a couple of cameras. The things I do may not seem amazing to some people, but they're amazing for me. It's funny how when you're brought face to face with your own mortality, that's when you start to live life. This is Dead Man Walking. Hello! Tonight's mission is the Holt Auntie bike ride. 24 miles all together, there and back, all on a BMX. So it's one gear all the way. Basically, the mission is to get to Hornsey, watch the sunrise on the beach, and then travel home. And the idea is to get there before sunrise, so I'm basically racing against the sun. Well, that's quite a big ask on a tiny bike. And it's probably the most dangerous bike in the world. 14 and a half kilograms of pure crucifying agony. This is the Bone Shaker. No front or back suspension. The back brake doesn't work. Front brake on a hair trigger. And weighs about the same as the moon. So, time to get my shit together. So, tonight Matthew, I'm going to be wearing that, scarf, gloves, posh socks, vest, long sleeve thing and a super dry jacket. I'm wearing all this because it's March and it's fucking freezing out there. So it's 11.05, uh, I'm going to get my head down for a few hours. Night! <sighs> Morning. So it is Sunday the 9th of March 2014 and it is two minutes past two. <sighs> So it has become apparent that I need to wake up, so this is my plan. Coffee and super duper power porridge. Smells fucking delightful. Fucking drug dealer. It's now five minutes past three on Sunday morning, and I'm gonna try and make it to Hornsey before the sun rises. Let's do this. And we're off. The uh, wind is pretty much non existent. Seven degrees out here, so I don't wanna jinx it, but it looks that we might be in for quite a nice toasty ride. Such a beautiful night, man. So here we go, the beginning of a uh, 12 mile journey to Hornsey. And um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good about this, actually. We'll see how I feel at the end of 12 miles and uh, on the ride home as well but all that way towards the sunrise sounds pretty fucking bitchy to me gosh so this is the track that I'll be spending pretty much the next 2-3 hours on Pretty long fucking track, to be fair. Sit rep. 
Uh, not doing too badly so far, not even a mile down yet. And uh, some guy coming up behind me on a bike just scared the shit out of me. So um, I've got the heebie jeebies already. I'm not even a mile in yet, and it's not even got dark, so uh, yeah. Just reached Sutton, so we're definitely just over the mile mark now. And this is the last bit of civilization we'll see for a long, long time. Cool, let's go. I have lights on my bike. It's actually flashing on and off, but I don't think the camera is picking it up. So what you can see is what I can see, which is basically fuck all. Oh, we're about about half a mile down the uh, down the dark track. Um, can see very very little. I'm actually having to use a torch on my iPhone um, because there's just no light at all out here. The stars look amazing though. It's creepy as fuck out here. But, at least it's not pissing down. It's really weird out here, because, um, even little things like shadows start playing tricks on you. And you just start freaking yourself out. I know I keep saying it, but the dark can really close in on you really fast out here. What the fuck was that? Shit. What the fuck? Just keep going. Something just went under my wheels. I wasn't sticking around to see what it was. So we're about three miles down, I think. Um. Fuck, man. The tunnel vision is becoming quite an issue, actually. Um, because the torch is just so concentrated, anything to the left or the right of me is completely dark. It's like when you wear a hoodie. You can't see anything out of them sides and it's really starting to fuck with my head. Also, because it's dark, any tiny noise, um, your mind starts playing tricks on you. Like, I've just imagined it like a guy hanging from a tree um, by his neck, um, and I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there's like about 200 pigs squealing in a farm over there, and an owl. Everyone knows owls are creepy. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. I am. I'm. I'm truly scared out here. So the dirt track is pretty much turned into thick fucking mud. Um, I can't see where I'm going. Um, it's turned into thick fucking mud. So I basically had to get off and walk, which is a bit of a bastard. And it's gonna slow me right down. Please. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I'm in New Ellaby now, I think. Um, I've just taken a bit of refuge under this street light. It's really nice just to have like a full a full range of vision again, really. I know that sounds weird, but it's something you don't miss till it's gone. You take it for granted a lot. You don't realise how lucky you are to just be able to switch on a light at home. I'm gonna chill under this street light for two minutes. Get my shit together and crack on. I use the time wisely and try to massage my knackered legs. A few minutes later, it's back on the horse. Wind's picking up. Time to get a scoot on. Looks like I'm making pretty good progress so far. Uh, I'm on the main road. I'm actually picking up signs for Hornsey now, so that's good. I'm pretty sure I just saw the lighthouse. <laughs> Woo! 
Man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at them, we're getting close to the beach. Um, picking up that familiar smell. Of course, the seagulls. Look at that. ways to spend a Sunday but I didn't come here to play ukulele on the beach I came here to experience the most powerful force in the universe the Sun this life is amazing no one's gonna change me gonna take it real slow heading where my heart goes take a pill you'll never know gonna sink my teeth in So, it's with great regret that I do have to go home. And as you can tell, my ass is fucking killing. My legs are actually on fire, now I've stopped. But it was totally worth it. So this is where the pain really starts to kick in because a lot of this is uphill and I've been off the bike for about an hour so my legs are starting to seize up and um, my ass man, I feel like I've been bummed by a thousand stallions This is a big hill and it's only the first one as I thought it would be the uh, bike back is a bit of a struggle. My legs are fucked. My ass is fucked. My hands are fucked. My back is fucked. My head is fucked. I've got a massive fucking headache. And I don't think I'm even a mile in yet. It's all uphill. Basically, I've had to stop for something to eat. <coughs> I'm in that much pain. So I'm opting for the beef jerky. Tastes like fucking chewing car tires. But it's full of protein and it, it might help repair a couple of my damaged muscles. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yum. Beef jerky, good energy food. I'll be chewing this for like a day. So I'm back down at the bit where it's just pure mud, just thick, wet mud. So I've had to get off and walk again. But it's actually turning out to be a really nice day, and I have a bandana on my head. So I look like Rambo, so it's okay. <laughs> He's a Rambo looking motherfucker. Ow! Oh, what the fuck is that? Alright, there's a big tractor coming my way. Hang on. What? Well, I scared him. Bucked off into his field. Come over here and spray that. 
sooner or later. I was back on tarmac. I'm back on the bike. Do this, come on. Come on. God damn it. This fucking hurts, man. <laughs> then I hit the wall. I need to get off. I don't know if I can take much more of this. I don't know if I can do it. I have no food left. I have this much water. My body's just giving up, bit by bit. I don't have the strength left in me to get home. I got back on the bike and started to eat up the miles. Ah! Fuck! As I looked at the beautiful scenery, I made it to Sutton. Boom, then Hull. And I started to think about what I just achieved. Battling through god awful terrain. Um, it's turned into thick fucking mud. Ball split in agony. Fuck! And facing a few of my own fears. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Despite all this, I had the best time. It's a Saturday night I will never forget. And I can say, at the start of Sunday, the 9th of March, I was there. It's actually really humbling. See something of that magnitude. Spare a thought for the bike as well. Knackered, old, red bike, no gears, no brakes. That got me there. Well done, old girl. I can see my house from here. I'm home.